Globally, the urban slum dollar earns less than one dollar in a day. However, there are some existing interventions by government and some agencies to eliminate poverty and to increase the income of these people. Some of these interventions are education and vocational training, women empowerment, donor funding and subsidies. These interventions have monies in the system, but at the end of the day, the urban slum dweller is still left with any one dollar, less than one dollar in a day. How poor? What could be the cause? Let's take a close look here. Lack of access to sanitation alone costs the world $260 billion annually. 2.5 billion people across the world lack access to improved sanitation, whilst 1 billion practice open defecation. In Ghana alone, poor sanitation issues cost our country $79 million annually. Ghana has been ranked as the second in open defecation in the whole of Africa. Three out of five Ghanaians practice open defecation due to cost of access to toilet facilities, sanitary conditions, land tenure issues, and space constraints. Poor sanitation alone has been linked to the transmission of some diseases such as cholera, diarrhea, and dysentery. From a survey conducted at a shaman and urban slum here in Accra, Ghana, which hosts about 300,000 people with different ethnicities, we realized that 60% of their income is spent on food, 20% on health and sanitation, and then 20% on transportation, education, and the like. Now, how do we double their income? At the same time, better connecting them to people, goods, capital, and services whilst cutting down on their healthcare costs due to poor sanitation. Our strategy is so unique. We are going to provide toilet facilities for the most vulnerable in the society, that's women and children. From our porosity toilets, we collect our human fecal matter, subject them to anaerobic digestion to process our final products, which are full of briquettes, organic fertilizer, gas for electricity. Our survey in Ashaman revealed that most of the women in this area are into the processing of gari, share butter, roasted peanuts, and fish smoking. These women use a lot of charcoal and firewood to be able to produce very small quantities. However, there exists a very large demand for their products. In our pilot scale, we have been able to gather these women to our, our biogas supply plant where they can be able to produce their goods in larger quantities using very cheap source of fuel. We also realized from our pilot scaling that our model has other impacts apart from doubling the incomes of these women. Business opportunities are also provided for other women in the communities who are unemployed. There is also the reduction in the cost of accessing toilets because our paparazzis are cheaper than any other toilet facility in Ashaiba. There is a reduction in healthcare costs because the women now do not go often to the hospital due to sanitary, poor sanitary conditions. There is a reduction in the cost of fuel for cooking because our biogas plant provides biogas to these women at very cheap cost. There's also climate protection from the use of firewood and charcoal. It's a, in, just like any other business. In the first year, our cash flow is low. However, as the business progresses, our cash flow will improve. In the first year of operation, we intend to operate in Ashama. But in the second year, we would scale to the northern part of Ghana. Then in the third year, we move to Nigeria and Cote d'Ivoire in the fourth year. Is our model sustainable? Yes, majority of the cost incurred is one time, and the cost of operation falls as the number of beneficiaries rise. Can it be scaled to other parts of the country? Of course, 
Everybody poops. Does it double their income? Yes, we provide them with a source of fuel which enables them to be able to produce a large quantity of their products to meet the already existing demand on the market, thereby doubling their income. Does it better connect people to goods and services? Yes. The Kukparazzi model connects our urban slum dwellers, our Kukparazzis, to better toilet facilities and more reliable access to cheaper and environmentally friendly source of fuel and electricity. Thank you.